But first, we go to the phones. Erica joins us in Tallahassee, Florida. Erica, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hey, Ken. How are you? Erica, I'm living the dream. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you for taking my call. You bet. Um, so, so I've been listening to your show, and I have a question. Um, my job's extremely busy. I'm way over allocated on hours um, of what to do, tasks and what to do. My supervisors are trying to get a new employee for our division, but I don't know if and when that will happen. I also don't know if that position would actually be able to help mine. Um, my boss is also insisting that I invest in training, which I know is a good thing, um, but he says do it on the clock, and if I do that, I'm going to be behind on other things. So it causes me a lot of stress. Um, I get paid decently well, uh, but I don't know if the workload is a good fit for me long term. So I just wanted to see your suggestions um, for maybe what I could do better or if I should consider looking for something else that would be a better pace. Yeah, I think you start looking for something else really quickly. Um, don't jump. I would stay where you are and let's see if things get better. But you know what concerns me? Uh, assuming I've got the full picture. Uh, and if, if there's something you left out, let me know. But the, the red mm -hmm. flag that I have is that you've talked to your supervisors. You said plural. So you've talked to them. They know yeah. they know about your situation. And their big answer yeah. is uh, get some training. Oh, but but you got to do it on the clock and we're not going to pay. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so now you're going to be behind mm -hmm. on everything else. It just doesn't seem like there's any relief in sight. But do they at least acknowledge that you've got way too much on you? They do. They okay. do. Yeah. So so what that tells us is you're not delusional. <laughs> yeah. Because I think that's important. Because here's what's can, here's what can happen. You can you can all of a sudden become a very doubtful person right now and start to go, Well, is it me? Mm -hmm. Am I not competent? And that can really so the good news is they've acknowledged they've got too much on you. The bad mm -hmm. news is it doesn't feel like they've got a plan. But I would, yeah. I would do, I would do one other thing. I would double check and over communicate with them that this person they're trying to hire would that person take on some of your responsibilities? If that's the case, that looks like there might be some relief on the horizon. That doesn't change my advice that you need to start mm -hmm. looking elsewhere. Life mm -hmm. is too short to feel like you're drowning at work. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now look, there are seasons, but I don't see any relief. But that's why I'm asking you to double, triple check. Is there relief coming? And and if you have done that and they've not given you an answer, that's more confirmation you need to be looking elsewhere where there's a healthier leadership structure, where they're just better leaders. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, it's state government, and so they have to submit things to their higher-ups and oh, even geez. to the governor. Well, you had... So it's a... Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, as soon as you said state government, I lost all hope. Oh, no. Because it's very bureaucratic. You have to go through yeah. the process, the red tape and all of that. Yeah. Yeah. I got to tell you, I uh, I want to make a blanket statement here because I don't want to offend anybody, but I really don't care if you get your feelings hurt on this because I'm just not, I'm, I'm just over the sensitivity. I'm just over it. Anybody listen to me for half a second knows I'm not controversial and I'm not trying to step on toes, but I am a truth teller. So here it comes. I believe, okay. <laughs> Erica, that there are good leaders in government i do mm -hmm. local state federal i do i do however they are handcuffed by bureaucracy yeah. which is an insidious disease that makes good leaders powerless there's my statement i think you need to be looking to get out of state government it's not going to get better and mm -hmm. if it does well, I'll, be, I'll be the first to go hey i was wrong miracles happen <laughs> you know Mm -hmm. It's not going to get better. Um, so would you have any recommendations of where to start looking? Just maybe my skill set yeah. and passions. Like I, I know you teach that, just kind of look in other fields. Yeah. Have you start with the career clarity guide? It's a free resource on my website. It'll allow you mm -hmm. to go because it allowed you to go through this a little bit slower pace than if I just switch gears on you right now. But, but let me just mm -hmm. answer this. What's your sweet spot? You find out what your sweet spot is. There's multiple, multiple roles in the marketplace for you. Mm hmm. So what are, you, what are you good at? What do you love to do? What results matter to you? And you look for that in the marketplace. You have tons of transferable experience. You have tons mm -hmm. of transferable skills. You know it. I'm talking to a very mm -hmm. confident person right now. Um, but uh, but uh, listen, you've got time. You can put up with a couple more months of this uh, if you know that you're on your way out and you've got your eyes on the, 
on a new mountain and you're going to scale that. You can put up with a little bit longer. So that's all I'm saying. But go find yeah. go find something in your sweet spot. The intersection of what you do best, talent. What you love to do most, that's passion. And results that matter most to you, mission. 844-747-2577. Uh, I will tell you folks, candidly, one of the things we're going to start talking more and more about on this show, we are going to talk more about leadership, what healthy leadership looks like. We're not going to become a, a business leadership show. However, the two dominating reasons why people leave and are unhappy at work are, number one, they're not in their sweet spot. That's what we specialize in here. Being on purpose, working on purpose, out of self-awareness. That's what we're always going to specialize in. However, the second major reason that people are unhappy and leave companies is leadership. Bad leaders create bad culture and people leave leaders. They don't leave companies. And that's what's going on with Erica. She's not leaving a state government job. She's leaving poor leadership. 